Another trip. Days worth of travelling and we've made it to Moresby. <laughs> That's right, we haven't. Not a bad place we're in either, eh? It's pretty uh, suspicious though. It is. And a bit yeah. high market than what we used to. It is a little bit high market. Nice spot. That would be Port Moresby down the back there, is it, Dave? That's right. Is that Moresby that way? No, it's Port Moresby. No, Port Moresby's the other way, is it? Yeah, that way. Alright. Yeah, we know where we are. Got a trendy novel aeroplane sticking out the side of the hill. And that's the uh, Moresby International Airport, where we landed yesterday. And the rest of our lodge is actually down there in that big pink building. Very, very nice accommodation. We're inside a compound. And uh, today we're going to uh, pick up our next charter flight out to uh, New Britain. And then down to the Woolindy Dive Resort, where we'll spend tonight, boys. And then tomorrow, and then no, day after that, Monday, it all begins. That's it. That's it. Bring on the break, man. Bring them on. 42, isn't it? Oh, well, we've uh, just made the one-hour flight from Port Moresby across to uh, New Britain. We're on uh, Hosking's airstrip. Nice smooth flight. They're uh, a bit of an onshore breeze on this side. We're on the sort of northeast side, and uh, I did notice on the way in it was nice and calm on the west coast, which is where we're going to fly tomorrow. We're going to go from here down to um, uh, Willindy through Kimby today, and. Uh, one more overnight stay before our charter flight across to uh, Gas Matter Airstrip tomorrow. Getting closer to catching the black bass. Fairly wet looking up on those ranges there, a lot of volcanic looking mountains around. Oh, we've just arrived in uh, the uh, Wollindi uh, dive resort and the boys are just checking themselves in, getting organised Dave. Yeah, number three. Looking number like three. Good. And uh, the girls are just going to show us to our rooms. Very, very nice um, resort for the middle of nowhere. Hello. Well, after nearly a day and a half of travel, uh, we've made it to the Willindy Resort. Got our final overnighter before we uh, scoot down to Lindenhaven tomorrow, or I guess Matter Airstrip. And this is our accommodation. This is quite a uh, world renowned dive resort. Diving's the main game here for them. our plane and uh, about to head out. Touch down on uh, Gas Matter airstrip after a lovely float across. It is beautiful. Gas Matter airstrip. Everyone come to see the plane. Oh, we just uh, collected the gear off our plane. Uh, we're on Gas Matter airstrip. It was uh, used a lot in the Second World War, and there's still a lot of relics here. It was uh, occupied by the Japanese apparently. Very good flight in. Beautiful country and. Uh, just taking our gear down to the end of the airstrip here and uh, we're going to load our stuff into the boat. Got about a 20 minute long boat ride down the coast to uh, the Lindenhaven Resort. And uh, have a snack, settle in and get out for a fish. Got an old uh, gun bunker, machine gun bunker possibly. Yeah, yeah, got three holes there. Got the gear loaded into the two boats. How long run around, John? About 20 uh, minutes? About or 20 minutes. 20 yeah. minute run? Yeah. It's exactly four nautical miles. Yeah, already. Take it a bit easy. Just... Yep. Pretty good.
Well, this is our home for the next week. Yep. Hi, Blair. Here comes the other boys. Got a big uh, dive boat that's come around from Walindi, Rabaul, actually. Dive boat anchored out the front there, big one. Getting closer now, Ian. Yeah, I can feel that little line stretching. <laughs> All right, well, after a little bit of a steam down from Gas Matter, we've reached Linden Haven. There you go. He's even got his own sign there. Big uh, dive cruiser that's come around from uh, Wollindy. They apparently own it, Wollindy Resort. Shows you how deep she is right here off the shore. Apparently it's about 100 feet deep, about 20 yards out there. Beautiful setup. There's the water just there. About to have lunch in a minute. This is our bar. And look at a picture of Gary up there with a filthy big mangrove jack. That's what we're going to get this afternoon. That's where we flew in this afternoon. And that's where we went. Not sure as your river's up the back here. Looking forward to going and having a look at them. To give you an idea of how quickly this joint drops off, have a go at how close in this boat's come in now. That's unbelievable. Uh, well, we're just leaving the uh, resort for our first day in the water. Got Dave up the front, and you wouldn't credit for the for the wet, dry season. We've got a fair amount of rain coming in over us. I just don't quite know what's in that. Everywhere I seem to go. Sandbar. Yeah. yeah, looks alright, eh, Dave? Hey? Looks alright. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. That's a Bill Smith word. It's awesome. It's awesome. Pass back on that. Pass back on that. Oh, well, that was our uh, first afternoon. Hey? Yeah. That was our first afternoon, Dave. Yeah, first afternoon. We, we uh, got all the bugs out of the system. Yeah. Two uh, strikes on me popper, one big boil, Dave had a strike, and we seen the mother of all bass try to eat something in the river, Dave. He was definitely eating something, that one. I thought it was a bloody crocodile. <laughs> Have you got a feather? Yep. So we've just run down the coast a couple of hours, John. We've just run down the coast a couple of hours. Yep, two and a half and, hours. And what's this one? This is Joanna River. Joanna River. Yeah, biggest, one of the biggest rivers we fish. Well, there already. And it's running uh, nice and clean. Yeah, it's good. Looks good. good. Day for it. Yeah. Uh, Dave's got our first fish of the trip. Some sort of trevally thing. Go the Trevally. Oh, yeah, there we go. Well, this is a fish in the boat. Fish in the boat, yeah. That's it. Are we recording? That's it. First black bass, John. There you go. What a beauty. That is. Good That's on you, Scott. Pop. Yeah. Handsome looking fish, eh? Right? Yep. What colour was it? Blue with a red belly. Yeah, the one you said, the blue with the orange belly on it. Yeah. Yep. There you go. And you uh, took it straight away. Not a bad size. Out of one too, so. Probably about, what, 10 pound or something? Uh, not quite, I wouldn't reckon. Hey, about over black 10. Black bass all the same. It's a good size. We'll get okay. it up. Well, unfortunately, Dave just got done in the tree there, Dave, yeah? Hooked up and went straight back into there. Oh, <laughs> this is when he catches the fish now, he's got his last couple. Uh, Davey's just hooked a nice bass. Not really sure, probably a spot tail up here, but it's just going down into the trees. Might be a bit of pruning. Oh, there he is. <laughs> That's good sized bass.
18 pound spotty. Beautiful spotty. Bloody ass. There you go. There you go, Davey. Not a bad way to catch one, eh? Yeah, make sure you get James <laughs> in. Oh, I'll grab some steel shots for you. <laughs> Alright, not a bad effort, Dave. What a beautiful fish, actually. I might get a shot of you in the water there like that, actually. There you go. There you go. There you go. He's off. <laughs> Good on you, Davey. How about that? Bloody nice fish. Not bad out of all that snake pile in that bloody river. No. It's probably lunchtime, I reckon. Good on you, boys. Thank you, sir. Very good. Yeah. Did well. <laughs> there you go. Dave got himself a second spotty. Just got another one a little bit smaller than that fella a minute ago. Well, up, Dave. There you are, another spotty. You're the spotty king today. That's true. You're done well today. You are yeah. doing well. Nice fish. Absolutely amazing place. Bloody beautiful. Water's unbelievably clear. You can see down about 60 or more feet, I reckon. There's fish and sharks swimming around. Live coral everywhere. Good morning. Very well. Lovely day. We're going for tour of uh, the camp they would like us to do. So we're going to have a look at village. <laughs> it's very nice. What is uh, the name of the village? Ambungi. Ambungi? Ambungia. Ambungia. Yeah. Very, very nice. And how many people would live here? 53? 53, 53 people? Yeah. It's a church. Roman Catholic. A Roman Catholic church, is it? Yep. Mm -hmm. No, it's very nice. The cemetery is out. Yep. Let's go and look at the cemetery. You would like to go to the cemetery? Yep. Yep. No, oh, it's beautiful. It's interesting to see the difference between it. All right, say so goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. See you next time. Alrighty. No, we got permission. We're allowed to go fishing river. Yep. They take in the chief. Yeah. Very good. No troubles at all. Beautiful little village they got too. Yeah, yeah, they are beautiful people. Yeah, beautiful village too. Very nice. That's good. We go catch a fish now. Just moving up the Amden. A couple of villages. How are you? Good morning. Just working this awesome bank along here where the water's about 30 foot visibility and there's trees in it. Had a whole school of uh, jungle perch come out. Got a beautiful little jungle perch. That's my first one. Beautiful fish. I right, just grabbed a still shot. I right, was just working our way back down the river and I caught my second spot tail. Both about the same size, of them might be a bit bigger. Jungle perch and uh, get a still shot of him. Nice fish, very pretty. Well, right, so ends our day in the Arnman and we're just returning our chief and Michael to his village. Should be popular because we got them some fish. Yeah. Nice fish. <laughs> That's it. Very good. You won't be hungry tonight. <laughs> got dinner. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are happy now, they got their fish. There you go, Wayne. There you go, Scotty. There you go, look, black bass. 
pull like the bigger one for... Uh... <laughs> there was a big trevally with him too. Yeah. 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 I thought you had the trevally, but... Uh... Yeah, well, the other day... You know, the big sturdy panda right up the loon of it. Yeah. The two huge trevally came swirling around it. They were with him as well. All right. And that's the snag that he just came off, and there was another couple in there too, it looked like. Go the black bass. Well, there you go, Ian. You on a roll. Not bad, mate. Not bad. Nice little mangrove jack. He's a red one, too. Yeah, he's a bit redder than the other one, I got the other day. He is. He's a beauty. Oh, all the uh, chuana wasn't really happening for us, so we've moved back to another small river, which I'm not sure of its name. Just poking our way in, and uh, hey, Mr. Fisherman again, and just got a nice jack on the popper. He's a nice jack, too, I tell you. Fly. Yeah, that's it. Nice, nice mouth. jack, matey. Yeah, good little freak. Yeah. We might find a few more in here yet. I'll grab the steel shot. Yeah. Yeah. What were they called? What is that? Just an oyster? Is it? Is like a mussel. Yeah, like the the girls have been catching these mussels. Yeah. And a crab. Just one crab. Yep. <laughs> Oh well, unfortunately it is our last day at Lindenhaven, last full day, got a half day tomorrow morning. But we've had significant rain yesterday afternoon and last night. A cracking storm went through actually and we've had a truckload of water fall out of it. So our expectations are that the, uh, the major rivers are all going to be running dirty with probably logs coming at the entrance of them. But we're going to go and have a look at the armgun this morning. So look at this, eh, hey, would you? Now that's service, eh, hey, Warwick? That's service. <laughs> well, me and Graham just got double hook up. I caught the beautiful big blue trevally. <laughs> and uh, Graham, Graham got the nice big barracuda. Bluefin, that's the biggest bluefin I've ever caught. He's a cracker. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We got fish for you. Okay, thank you. That's all right. Where are you going? Where are you going to the mainland? Yep. Yep. Not very good. Come a long way. Yeah. Atui. Atui? Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Very good. All right, that was a good swap. Fish for nuts. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You have a good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. All right, bye bye. bye. All right, go catch another one. Oh, well, we're just uh, coming in on a uh, patch of birds here that are uh, been feeding on the surface with something. There's a lot of uh, birds near. And uh, Graham just had a really good run, good hit. Getting to some line back now, Graham? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good, we'll see what he is in a minute. How are you going there, Graham? You winning? I think I'm winning, mate. You winning? Seems to be a fairly heavy critter. Yeah. Uh, we'll come back again in a minute. Still winding, winding. Tuna. I think it's yellowfin. Nice yellow yellowfin. Fin. You need gaff. Nice yellowfin, boys. That's nice yellowfin, mate. All right. We tried to find the boys. My finally caught me first decent bass. He's 15 pounds. And uh, we're very lucky. We got him out of the uh, trees quickly, hey? Very fast, boys. Anyway, we'll let him go. This video we put him over here. Again. He's, he's biting. He's going. There we go. Well done, boys. <laughs> well, that was it, boys. Ton head home. Good way to finish the trip. Thank you very much. Welcome. All right, we'll see you again. You You're writing a bit of a novel there, Ian. I am indeed. That's it. Uh, great, uh, great place. Great trip. It is paradise, and uh, I suppose those black bass, what can you say? I mean, mm -hmm. I've never ever experienced fish like it. You book them, 
you watch your rod just buckle over, you hang on, yeah. either they spit the, uh, the lure, <laughs> or you bust something. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it was awesome. Uh, my buddy uh, Graham and I had a sensational day in the Amgen River. Yeah. We've got 20... 22. 22, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, spot titles. We set a new record for the livestock set. Yeah, right. The most beautiful river that you could possibly fish. Yeah. So, great trip, Scotty. Thanks for all the time. Nah, that's great. And, and can, can we... How many fishes did you lose, the black basses? And how did oh. you lose them? Oh, look, I was lying... Every night you lie in bed thinking, yeah, <laughs> I could have done that differently. <laughs> There's easily seven I can account for, seven or eight, yeah. that I lost. I mean, I had one to the boat, which was a good sized one, and uh, the, with the net scooping that yeah. they do over here, yeah. they seem like oh, they <laughs> That's I right. That one. <laughs> uh, so really, the only one I've got on film was the smaller one. I think yeah. you were there on the... I was, the yeah, yeah, I got pictures of that for you. Yeah. And the one I got this morning, they said uh, yours was bigger and mine was 15. So the one you had in the net would have been 20 anyway, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Well, yeah, around it, mate. I pulled one out of the tree. That's it, yeah, the, the big fire. one. That was one. just Over awesome. It yeah. was awesome. That was a big fish. Um, I mean, the first day is down at the beach there where, um, you know, it's hooked up and off yeah. you went. Yeah. Stop it, as you guys experienced last night. Mm. Awesome fish. Excellent. Graham? Got it. How'd you go? Well, first of all, thanks very much for organising such a great trip. So, uh, is it always a pleasure? Place. Always um, a pleasure to have you blokes with me. And uh, the highlight was really probably seeing the customs of the people around here, mm. because the low lights were blowing so many decent sized bass that didn't matter. <laughs> However, I did get and land two, but yep. they were smaller. But, um, you got a you got a couple of good spotties though, didn't you? Got yeah. some good spotties. They're up yeah. fifteen yeah. pound or so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're big yeah, spotties. Landed, uh, one black bass probably would have been ten. The other one was a bit smaller. Yep. Um, and got that pretty easy. And you're in the wipeout club on a few no, occasions. The wipeout club. <laughs> that's right. We're in a big big manner a couple of times. That's it. Um, yeah, change my technique, things. I think, Scotty. <laughs> uh, that's it. Go hard or go home. Go, that's go hard or go home. <laughs> that's, that's it. The, but Very a great trip. Excellent. That's yeah. it. All right, Warwick, we'll start with you. Highlight for the trip. The mackerel I just caught. It was a nice mackerel? Nice mackerel. What about the 30 pound black bass? The biggest one you said you've ever caught. Oh, Christ, I've forgotten about that. <laughs> that was three days yeah, ago. That's right. That was the day that you caught five black bass, Warwick. I remember it clearly. Do you? Oh, <laughs> I do. Good. I'm glad one of the so you enjoyed it this time round? A little bit quieter than your first trip, though? Uh, yes, a little bit quieter. The fishing was a bit quieter. Yep. Might have been the earthquake, you reckon? Yeah, it might have been the earthquake. <laughs> well, that was the start of the noise. It was. Yeah, and, and then when you hear all the rest of the bugs say, what the hell was that? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. No, Man, good trip. Scott. Good trip. Yeah, no, we enjoyed your company. It was good, Warwick. We'll have to do it again. We will. And Mr. Lindsay. Oh, lucky last. Lucky last. Lucky last, yes. This well, is I didn't catch a black bass. Didn't land one in the end? No, I got joined the... Uh, the wipeout club? The wipeout club without any trouble at all. <laughs> but I uh, got some nice spot tails. Yep. The biggest was 18 pounds. And a uh, catch of the morning, the first morning out of the, uh, out of the reef here, we had a catch and I was home by 8.30. Hmm. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. Hooked yourself. So that, was, that was high drama. Um, by, uh, a lovely earthquake. I just got to bed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to move for me. That was a big day. I was in the bed by myself. Yep. <laughs> so there you go. So yeah, lovely place. And as Graham said, uh, the customs of the people. Yeah. Are, uh, it's, so it's a highlight of coming in. Yeah, it's a highlight. That's, that's the name of the game. Yeah. Very good. The fishing is good. Uh, but I think it's just, you know, the experience part. It's good anywhere else. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Um, Scotty, uh, what about you, mate? You uh, have a good trip? I did have a good trip, although it was a couple of frustrating days. I had a no-fish day, which is frustrating. Uh, oh. but, but today, I left me run to the end, and when all the boats had left the river, up the Lula, uh, we went around the bend from you blokes, and I got me 15-pound black bass today. So, uh, Sensational. That was great after joining the Wipeout Club twice but yesterday afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, and I thought uh, you, you kept saying we were girls the way we were losing well, fish day after day. I had my doubts because I just wasn't hooking the big ones and you blokes were all getting wiped out. And I'm just going, well, it's obviously aimless effort and, and skill level. 
But uh, no, I've got to say that uh, no, I'm as big a girl as the rest of you. They're awesome so, fish, aren't they? It is yeah, awesome stuff, yeah. yeah. And the rivers, are, and, and like the boys have said, the, the people are fantastic. The couple of days down the coast with the villages, yep. when we got the tour of the village before we went up the um, the Andrew River, yeah. that was just an awesome yeah. experience. Yeah. Wonder, wonderful experience. It is. And See uh, how people are living. The whole place is fantastic. Yep. I look forward to the next place. Excellent. Yeah, well, you've got another trip in August. I'm hoping so. Good luck, mate. I'll be into it. Okay. Righto, boys. Yep. See you. Signing the guest book. That's it for today. Yeah, and safe flying over those mountains today. <laughs> Few clouds coming in. We'll leave it at that. Pick the, pick the feet up. This could be the last video of the group. <laughs> I'll be looking for it like a black box. Right yeah. Well, our planes made it back in from uh, the other side. Hoskins through to Guest Matter. <laughs> And we're all going to say goodbye. Nice safe trip home. Sit. No, no cloud. Say goodbye. <laughs> Very good. All right. Load the gear up and head home.